tired as it'll be. It's like uh, 7.30 in the morning. It's not quite as early as I wanted to get out of here, but you know, life happens a little bit later than I wanted. But we're out here on the Toms River, not too far from where I usually launch the boat out here. Um, I'm gonna chuck some stuff for catfish, some stuff for you know bass, other species. I'm gonna try a carp rod because I've heard there's carp in here. So uh, we're gonna mainly do some bait fishing and uh, toss around some lures while we're waiting. So uh, let's get everything rigged up and uh, see what we can catch. All right, got my carp set up. Got a uh, barrel weight. I believe that one's a half ounce. Barrel swivel, fluorocarbon leader, and. Uh, small size 8 or 10 hook I'm not sure with some corn on it let's uh, cast this sucker out see if we get any luck on it all right we're cast it out let's see if we have any luck there all right, I'm gonna get the catfish rod out, and it's essentially the exact same rig, just a larger hook. And for bait today, I'm actually using it's a chicken breast that is uh, soaked in a uh, red strawberry jello. Toss this out. Seems to stay on the hook a lot better than what I've been using recently, so hopefully we'll get something from it. All right, we're gonna set our drag nice and loose. So if fish grabs it, can pull a little out. Send in a nice little pole holder stick that's here already. We'll see what happens. Look at all this garbage though. Come on guys, if you're gonna come out and fish, clean up your garbage, worm containers and everywhere. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. It's crazy. The current is ripping today guys. Both my uh, bait poles are almost straight to the right now. I'm gonna chuck around. Ooh, whoa, I don't know what the hell happened there. Just dug into the spool bad. I'm going to have to reline some of my poles. Wow, that was dug in so bad. Alright, but take two. I'm going to cast the chatterbait around a little bit. Alright guys, I didn't get on film, but twice something ate half of my uh, catfish bait. So what I'm going to do is I put on a smaller fresh chunk. I'm gonna cast it back out there. And I'm gonna hope whatever it is, we'll get the whole thing this time. But the chunk I use is significantly smaller. So, with any luck, it will uh, eat the whole thing, including the hook. We'll see. I'll toss around wobble plopper a little bit. I haven't had much luck on the bait poles. Nothing's come back at him again. Alright guys, we are hooked up. Ugh, I don't know what we're hooked up with yet. We are hooked up. Come on. Oh, it looks like we got an eel, guys. This is a good size eel, guys. Check this guy out. Woo! Let me find some sort of rag. Here he is, guys. Nice big old eel. He's a he's a long one. Check it out. All right, we'll work on getting this guy back. All right, SOBs. We spent a few hours out here on the water. Threw around some lures. Didn't catch anything on those. We uh, threw out that chicken, and we did catch an eel. And uh, we didn't catch anything on the the carp pole again. Um, I don't know. I just guess don't have the much the best luck with carp. And I'm going places that I know there is carp, but uh, who knows. Hey, would you look at that? I don't know if you guys can really see it too well over there. I'll try to get a picture. But there's two white swans and a black swan over there. It's super cool. But uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment and tell me the biggest eel you've ever caught. Subscribe and you get to see all my new stuff coming out. Until next time, guys. Peace.